Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are all good. I hope you're handling Mercury retrograde well. Um, I have noticed that the energies have kind of shifted in the past four days or so. Um, and it's getting a bit challenging right now. Um, wow, you've had some major, major energy going on, haven't you? Was it six planets in Aquarius the other day? Wasn't it like a new moon and, and six planets in Aquarius or something? incredible it absolutely incredible so we're gonna check out what is going on with you guys and your romantic love life this week the other day I did a reading um, for the air signs I'm gonna leave the link to that reading in the description box it was really good reading so feel free to go and check that out um, there is links to my Etsy store as well there's a link to the most popular reading on my Etsy store if you are interested in a personal reading um, I've got quite detailed descriptions in um, in the description boxes of my readings over there. So you can go and find out more information there. And there's links in the description for my other social media pages as well. If you want to find, if you want to um, follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I do pick a card readings on Instagram and uh, daily readings. And also I do some free one question card pulls over on TikTok um, as well. So I like to interact, interact quite a bit over there. So let's get started guys. Let's get started on your romantic love reading for this week. Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius's romantic love life this week? What is happening with, with Aquarius romantic love connections for the week ahead? Please spirit. I'm getting journey. I'm getting journey. You might go on a journey soon. You might have been on a journey. Could be a physical journey. Could be a spiritual journey. Let's see. Okay, Aquarius. bottom of the deck we have the seven of cups choices a lot going on emotionally a lot of offers opportunities gifts your present energy surrounding your romantic love life this week we have the tower there is a sudden change going on a huge shift is occurring out of the old into the new um you could receive a message this week which is going to change the game this could also be an intuition that changes everything recent past energy we have the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, moving forwards in a slow, stable way with your love life. Not much may have been happening, may have been a little bit bored, but not anymore. But this is all part of this is so I feel like this was just like a little resting period here. This is all part of this whole program here. So major changes coming in the energy guiding you is the three of pentacles so you're going to start building something new here something old is getting thrown out to build something new something old is getting knocked down to build something brand new here in regards to your romantic love life or relationships what you need to know we've got the six of swords here you're going to be moving forwards you're going to have some clarity. There's going to be some issues to work through, but you're going to you're going to you're going to go with this. You're going to move forwards. Journey. What did I say I said journey, didn't I? Did I said that for you guys. I'm feeling a journey. There could be some travel involved here. Could be a relocation, could be a trip. Near future energy. 
king of pentacles. Wow. Well, this is perfect, isn't it? See, it's part of this. It's part of the cycle. It's part of the program. You've got the knight there, and then your this sudden change is elevating you into king mode. I'm getting as well. You're getting some money coming in here. I know this is love reading, but you're getting some abundance come in here. I'm getting, so for some of you guys, okay, I'm getting that, yeah, there is going to be a sudden change in your romantic love life. I'm getting for some of you guys, and this is just for some, this is a small amount. There may be news of somebody passing away or something, and there may be, there may be something where somebody needs to go and take a trip and go and visit um, family, and then they're going to be the head of that family. But during this trip... They will meet their person, okay? Or they're going to be put in a position. It's, there's like some kind of position which is going to affect their love life. They're going to take on more responsibility. There's going to be like a level up sort of thing. There is going to be something which is going to support their love life. But that's just for some. For others, there may be this relocation that's needed to do with a job situation. I feel like there's, there may be a new person that comes in it's going to be when you're building something new. So this can be to do with, you know, f uh, having a new family dynamic, having a new work situation going on, you know, all these different things. Your energy this week, you are strength. Yeah, you can handle this. Your person is the hermit. But I feel like they're very strong as well. They're very wise, very strong. They are kept away at the moment. I definitely feel that the, the people I'm reading for, the Aquarius group that I'm reading for, is you're having a change go on here. You're meeting somebody new. This person is not around you yet. This person is kind of kept away or they've been kept away. They're very attractive. They're very sexy, this person. They're very, very sexy and they're very um, interesting they're very independent, very confident, very, very confident, very witty. But at the minute, you guys are level, and I feel like this is all I'm saying in these videos, but I think it's this Mercury retrograde energy because it's just kind of what spirit is bringing through to me. You're having a level up. There's the, you're stepping up. You are stepping up. You're having a promotion in life, which is going to get you in alignment with this person here. You're going to be in alignment to meet this person or to reconnect with this person if you already know them. Let's see a little bit more about what's going on here. Let's see what this tower is about. We've got the four of swords in reverse, but I feel like that's more sort of like all systems go. Sorts. There is a lot of king energy going on here. There is a lot of this empowered, responsible king energy. This is very masculine. This reading is very, very masculine, and this person's a sexy feminine. Even if you're female and this person's male, it's like you, it's like this huge level up of masculine energy here. This strong, powerful, taking responsibility, taking charge, boss energy going on. Head of the family energy going on for some. Job promotion for others. This person's sexual. Um, but private as well. But they know everything. They don't chase that person. That person doesn't chase. But you're going to be you're being brought into alignment with them. Um, yeah. So you're having a huge level up. There's a change. You're going to have to step up. Um, so this six of swords that you need to know. Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're gonna you're you're moving forwards to be reunited. You might even be meeting with a Virgo. 
This is Capricorn, isn't it? But still. Or it could be an earth sign. But the Hermit's Virgo. So, you know, you are moving forwards to meet this person. You're going to be moved forwards. Whether this is an actual physical journey, okay, and you're going to have to, have to take a physical trip, or whether this is talking on an energetic sense because you're having a huge level up. You're stepping up into a king. You're going to be meeting your queen. See, oh, look, oh, look. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Yes, yes. Amazing. This is a beautiful reading, you know. The Hermit. Okay, let's see your person. So we've got here the Hermit. Ten of Wands. They have released a lot. They've been doing a lot of internal work. They've been going within. They've released a lot. They're having a brand new beginning as well. They are protecting themselves at the moment. They're protecting their energy at the moment. They are reserved as well. They're reserved. This person isn't dating. This person's very reserved, protecting themselves. They've been releasing a lot, doing a lot of internal work. They're very sexual though. Like they have got, they're sexy people. They've got sexy energy. But then they're not giving it up. So if you're wondering about that, Aquarius, this person is like a nun. Like, but like a, like, but but not like frigid or anything, but they're just protecting their energy. They're probably celibate. They are manifesting what they want, what they truly want, what makes them happy. They're a great person. This person's wonderful, you know. I feel really excited for you. I feel like we're really happy that the universe is aligning you with this person because this person's amazing. So you are strength at the moment this week. You're balancing something out, letting go of cycles here. We have the king of... Co again, a king again. This is all about the kings and the knight of wands. You're sexy too. Um, yeah, you're manifesting. You're levelling up emotionally. You're levelling up physically. You're levelling up spiritually. You're levelling up mentally. Having a huge level up of your masculine energy. And then this person is just drawing you in with their feminine magnitude. Manifesting you as we speak. You're going to be reunited with them as soon as you just deal with this change here that's going on. But it looks pretty quick to me. It looks pretty quick and it looks pretty good. This is amazing. This is the best reading I've done so far. Oh my God, at the bottom of the deck we've got the sun. I'm leaving it there. This is a soul connection here. You guys are going to have such a hot, amazing, interesting, abundant relationship. You really are. This is amazing. This person's going to drive you wild. And they're going to be really attracted to you as well because you are a boss. You, I'm getting as well. And I always say this to you guys, and I feel like I've been saying it for months, but I do feel like... You're going to be really wealthy. You're going to be receiving a lot of abundance, not just in your love life, but financially as well. You're going to be receiving a lot, especially with this level up here. So this is what I've got for you. Let me know if that resonates. If you like this reading, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and have a great week, guys.